So ever since an internet rumor started that Ulysses Claw would in fact be in Age of Ultron due to the casting of Andy Serkis, they actually went back and made sure he did become Ulysses Claw. Good job, internet. That was, uh, that was a great fanboy wishing that actually made it a reality. And of course, if you guys remember, in Age of Ultron, Ulysses Claw does play a semi-important part, but he's quickly kind of sidelined to what's happening. Now, of course, when Ultron goes to dispose of him, he ends up chopping off his arm, which led many of us to believe that this is how he's going to get, well, the arm he gets in the comics. You know, the high-tech gadget he can use, shoot out like sound beams and different things. It's pretty honestly cool looking, I think at least. But the newest trailer hit, and ever since the first teaser, people have been complaining that he doesn't have it. That's pretty much the big complaint. I know, the internet complaining. Can you imagine? Man, that's something new. But I think people ignore the one scene in the latest trailer where Claw is hanging off the side of a vehicle, and if you look at his hand, which I will just zoom into, you can literally see that his hand is opening up to reveal some sort of weapon. Let's be clear about this. There is no way his hand is that big around or that wide. He doesn't have an attachment like, you know, something coming out between his fingers. That's definitely his hand opening up because his arm has in fact been replaced, probably with Wakandan technology or something like that. Or, you know, it's his own development, or we don't really know, maybe that'll be a plot point in the movie, but he definitely has it. So yeah, we can now stop worrying about that. But then it makes me question, if he's in captivity, right, because we see that he's being interrogated by Everett Ross, do they know this, and why isn't he using it to break himself out? It's kind of interesting, right? It makes me wonder if he's kind of playing into this whole thing that he let them capture him, which honestly I think would be a cool thing so he can try, kind of draw more attention to Wakanda and you know try to really bring like more attention to the land so they'll start invading and trying to take their technology and since we know it's a geopolitical thriller, that would honestly make a lot of sense. But I guess we'll find out sooner rather than later, but hey, we see his weapon is in there so we can stop complaining. No, no, we can't. It's just going to keep going. 